Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Norville. This edition's top stories. Invest in Lucia breaks ground on the Lafayette development in Schwazel. The Bahamas is removed from the travel bubble as it records spikes in COVID-19 cases. And members of the public are urged to seek help if unable to cope with the psychological effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Invest in Lucia ISL on Wednesday broke ground on its newest land project, the Lafac Development in Schwazel. The development forms part of ISL's promise to provide every St. Lucian an opportunity to acquire ownership of residential and commercial property at a reasonable cost. The Lafarge development offers both residential and commercial use lots and is approximately 28.4 acres of flat land. The project will be completed in four phases as opposed to the original three phases and three contractors from Chazelle have been engaged and are working towards its completion. We get the details from Jesse Leos. Initially earmarked for completion in early 2020, the LAFAG housing development experience delays associated with the coronavirus pandemic. Back on schedule, a groundbreaking ceremony was held this Wednesday, 5th August, at the entrance of the 28.4-acre site in Schwazel. This is the third ongoing land project spearheaded by Invest St. Lucia, geared at creating 600 new property owners on island. The LAFAG development is the largest project towards this goal of the agency. Chairman of the board is Pinkley Francis. Originally this project had an estimated completion date for the first quarter of this year. Although progress slowed, we did although progress slowed, sorry, as did most economic activities in St. Lucia, Invest St. Lucia is pleased to be back on track with most of our projects. The LaFac development will be done in four phases as opposed to the original three and three contractors from Chazelle community have been engaged and are working towards this completion. Commerce and Industry Minister and Parliamentary Representative for the area, Honorable Bradley Felix, expressed pride that Chazelle natives were awarded contracts in the tendering process for the three phases of the project. He further encouraged Invest St. Lucia to consider proceeding with the fourth phase, which had been put on hold. There was a bit of hesitation after the COVID that the, the, the uptake of the lots may have been slow. And so Invest and Lucia was a bit skeptical of going with all four phases because the last phase is the biggest. But in terms of what I have been, what have been brought to my attention, I think very soon you will have to open up that four phase because the application forms are being filled in and lodged at a very, very fast, fast pace. Situated on flat land with stunning views of the Caribbean Sea and the peak of Gopiton, the Lafag housing development will offer 114 commercial and residential use lots ranging in size from 4,193 to 26,000 square feet. Economic Development and Housing Minister Honorable Guy Joseph commends Invest St. Lucia's efforts toward increasing land and housing stock for citizens. The Ministry of Housing itself we have a target of 5,000 house lots to be made available to St. Lucians. So what you are doing at Invest St. Lucia is helping us to meet the target. I applaud Invest in the area that you are not just looking at foreign direct investment. Usually when we speak about Invest St. Lucia, or what used to be NDC, the focus was usually on getting foreigners to come and invest. But we are happy that some of the money that you are collecting is being invested right here in St. Lucia. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney congratulated Invest St. Lucia and Honorable Felix for their commitment and dedication to ensuring that the land development project was launched despite the setbacks of COVID-19. And his pitch... So I'm going to say to those Schwazelians who are here in the constituency now, the Schwazelians who reside abroad, hurry and buy a piece of land. Because very soon, they will be very, very expensive to be able to buy land in this constituency. And that's why I really applaud the minister and also in this solution, that this early stage of the development, making sure that residential land is available to 
people from the constituency, and even more importantly, to St. Lucians. Very soon, more and more people will be migrating back down to the south, both from the north, and also, I can assure you, there are solutions living in the diaspora. You know I'm not lying when I tell you that I wish they were home now. Home not so bad. Investor St. Lucia is currently working on two other land developments, one in Boisjoli, Denry, and the other in Beauchamp, Miku. Anyone wishing to apply for Invest St. Lucia's land sales can find application forms at either its Castries or Viewfort office or online at www.investstlucia.com. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting. Minister for Commerce, Industry, Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs and Parliamentary Representative for Shuzel Saltibus, Honorable Bradley Felix, stated that the project will offer many benefits to the people of Shuzel and environs. It's not just about the land development where we have Shuzel contractors who engage in the construction of the infrastructure, but as you heard, Shuzel has some of the most skilled work, work, workmen and they will be getting an opportunity, not just in the construction of the infrastructure, but when people will start constructing their homes. So you have 114 lot opportunities for our contractors, our masons, our tilers, our electricians, you know, um, our joiners, a, a lot of opportunity to um, get employment here. So um, I embrace the, the development because I see, you know, multifold um, um, benefits for the residents. That was Minister for Commerce, Investment, Industry, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs and Parliamentary Representative for Shuzel Saltibus, Honorable Bradley Felix. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority, SLTA, under the guidance of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, continues to monitor trends in bubble countries as it relates to their COVID-19 cases. This is to ensure that the SLTA is able to make appropriate decisions where necessary in order to keep the people of St. Lucia safe. Bubblecation is a marketing campaign recently launched by Caribcation, allowing travelers from countries within the designated travel bubble to visit St. Lucia. Details. The Bahamas has been removed from the travel bubble due to a spike in its cases. The Bahamas Ministry of Health, as of Thursday, 6 August 2020, indicated that there were 36 additional confirmed cases of COVID-19, bringing the total number of confirmed cases to 751. St. Lucia Tourism Authority's marketing manager for Caribbean and events, Christopher Gustav, said that the authority, guided by the Ministry of Health and Wellness, continues to monitor the situation on the ground to adjust the publication campaign as necessary to ensure the health and safety of all St. Lucians. Bahamas was recently taken out of the bubble because of the increasing cases and the fact that the country is now on a 14-day lockdown. We are going to continuously adjust our protocols based on the situation on the ground, working with the health department to ensure a safe bubble experience. I would like to take time out to thank the over 80 accommodation providers who have signed up to be part of the bubble Cation program and would like to encourage even more providers to apply. The program is open to all hospitality providers registered with the Ministry of Tourism, including providers with villas, hotels, Airbnbs, car rentals, restaurants and bars, day tours, nightclubs, shopping, taxi associations, and yachting and other ocean activities. All arriving visitors from within the bubble must have traveled directly from a country within the bubble and have been in that country for at least 21 days. These individuals will be exempt from quarantine, however they are required to submit a negative PCR COVID-19 test prior to arrival into St. Lucia within seven days of travel and are subject to mandatory screening on arrival. Bubble visitors are also subject to all applicable on-island protocols, including testing, quarantine and isolation where necessary. Gustav explained that the Caribbean market is important to St. Lucia's tourism industry and is St. Lucia's second largest source market. He noted that unlike other markets, there is a strong kingship. Our data reveals that apart from vacation, meeting with friends and family is one of the major reasons Caribbean people travel to St. Lucia. 
It is important that we focus on ensuring that this bridge remains open. This is why we have worked with the airlines like Caribbean Airlines, Inter-Caribbean, One Caribbean, and Air Antilles to connect our islands. To recap from our earlier release, the bubble countries approved by the Department of Health and Wellness currently include Antigua and Barbuda, Aruba, Anguilla, Barbados, Barbuda, Bonaire, British Virgin Islands, Curaçao, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Jamaica, Monstrat, St. Barthélemy, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Martin, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, and Turks and Caicos. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority reaffirms its commitment to ensuring the safety and well-being of all St. Lucians while stimulating the economy and returning jobs. Recognizing that the COVID-19 pandemic has affected members of the public psychologically as well, the Bureau of Health Education is advising on measures that can be taken to care for one's mental and physical health. Individuals are also urged to reach out and seek help if in distress and unable to cope. Anisia Antoine tells us more. The impact of COVID-19 has left no country and no one untouched. All age groups are affected as the life changes have been drastic in many cases. The new reality of working from home, less social contact with family and friends, homeschooling for children and being unemployed is actually a difficult time for most persons. As St. Lucia adapts to a new sense of normalcy, the public is encouraged to maintain their physical and mental health. Practicing self-care can help alleviate the psychological distress and anxiety caused by the pandemic and prevent lasting adverse psychological effects. Bureau of Health Education's Family Life Educator, Naomi Granderson, highlighted the importance of developing a regular routine and or schedule. This is the, uh, the most important point right now because it's a new normal. Mm -hmm. And one has to sit down and establish and think about what would work for me. What do I do? If I am home now and I do not have work, what are some of the things that I can put into my daily schedule to occupy my time? To stay me sane. To stay sane <laughs> for mental well-being, for physical well-being, and also for um, social I would say well-being because you have tensions within the household. Mm -hmm. And when there is structure, especially with children, um, overall health is better because the tension and the stress is reduced. Another important tip in practicing self-care is healthy eating. The Family Life Educator explained that the food an individual consumes can affect the body's ability to prevent, fight and recover from infections or illnesses. If you haven't seen the thing or you cannot recognize um, almost instantly or, or quickly where it is from, reduce your consumption of that significantly. Okay. And, and if you follow that principle, then you know what type of healthy snacks to reach for. It needs to be more as, um, as whole as possible or next to its whole, its whole form. So you see here we have nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds. Healthy fats, fiber that can hold you, that can sustain and reduce your hunger for a good bit of time. And um, we have some veggies, steamed vegetables. Mm -hmm. You can carry that with you. Some whole grain crackers. And instead of all these juice, 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 guys, water. Mm -hmm. Water. Grandison noted that a person's environment and their relationship with others also play a significant role in maintaining their mental health. Our different domains has a direct impact on our self, on me, and my well-being. So although there's nothing wrong with taking an occasional lime and having some ice cream, to what extent, how much, does it include somebody who's positive? Is it a mm. binge? So all of these things have to mm. be taken into consideration. Balance is all part of self-care. Mm -hmm. No man and no woman stands alone. You understand? So we have to connect to others, our environment. We have to connect well to our family and our work. Or else we would not be happy. We would not be satisfied. Ourselves will not be happy. Individuals are encouraged to seek help at the National Mental Wellness Center or from trusted family members and friends or call the helpline at 201 if needed. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.
The Department of the Public Service is dedicated to transforming the public service into an efficient government machinery run by well-trained and engaged professionals dedicated to excellent service delivery. To achieve that reality, the training division is tasked with the responsibility of providing that cadre of professionals through the development of learning initiatives aimed at filling skills and competency gaps among public officers. In the context of scarce resources and to ensure sustainability, the training division has recognized the need for collaboration and the pooling of resources in order to fill those gaps. By approaching this mammoth task with a combined effort, the department can transform the public service to achieve excellence. To this end, the training division will compile a government trainer's directory to include a list of experienced and qualified public officers who have volunteered to serve as government trainers and facilitators for training and development initiatives hosted by the training division. These elite public officers will have the privilege of participating in the training division's first trainer trainer program that will be designed and conducted specifically for them. The Department of the Public Service therefore invites public officers to indicate their interest in being featured in the government of St. Lucia's Trainers Directory by completing a short survey. The link to the survey can be found on the government of St. Lucia's website www.govt.lc slash news slash call for trainers. The survey closes August 29, 2020. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. COVID-19 is a new pandemic disease as declared by the World Health Organization. It is transmitted directly by respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes or indirectly through rubbing the face with contaminated hands. There is still no specific treatment or vaccine against COVID-19, and as such, the farming community should adhere to some special recommendations. Limit the number of crew members to only essential persons. Practice frequent hand washing and cleaning of all boat surfaces. Limit contact with the public, keeping a safe distance between each person. Limit unnecessary conversation with customers and pairs during the sale of fish. Wash hands frequently with soap and running water or use 60 to 95% alcohol-based hand sanitizer until water and soap are available. Sneeze and cough in a flexed elbow or into a tissue, immediately discarding the used tissue into a bin and wash hands with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer until soap and water is available. And avoid close contact with persons having respiratory symptoms. More than ever before, your important role as gatekeepers of St. Lucia's nutritional health and food security should be taken seriously. When you exercise these precautions, you not only safeguard your health, but also continue to allow all St. Lucians access to freshly caught fish and other seafood. Remember, it is our responsibility to ensure our nation eats fresh, St. Lucia's best. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. Merci autant, Chanel. Merci, Madame Department, qui responsabilité pour information en gouvernement cette ci ça c'est GIS, et Télévision Nationale PIA NTN, Caposito Nouvelle Aquayol. Présente Primus Hutchinson. Monsieur Technical du pays Taiwan, Abajid Pouget des Epouvements fixe cette ci Tu as assisté les femmes qui ont continué à faire bataille contre plusieurs tracassements qui ont espionné en production fixe, particulièrement maladie Black Sikotoka. Pouget pour Epouvements en production fixe dans cette ci qui travaille et puis les cultivateurs et bien les femmes pays là pour aider à un épouvement pour duo expressement les venus pour maladie Black Sikotoka. En considération maladie Corona, qui affecte la production fixe tellement sérieuse et plus toujours mauvais carême qui pose force 
avec presque dévalisé l'industrie figue là. Le gouvernement s'est laissé, j'ai commencé pour assister les cultivateurs au lieu en pays là. Au vécu qui est engagé, puis projet des éprouvements fixés, c'est le si Elkan Janki explique que les farmers ont trouvé en haut de 12 000 litres d'huile et 9 000 sacs de guano pour aider à augmenter la production. Janki a ajouté que pour les farmers ont trouvé des gouttes d'assistance à la protection ni pour un ordre. Ça veut dire que ces protections là ne pour pas dans une condition qui a montré qu'il y a eu une attention et une occupation. Officier qui est responsable pour la protection du plan, le ministre de l'Agriculture, Clétus Alexander, dit que le gouvernement a établi un manœuvre pour adresser le contrôle de la maladie Black Sea, qui a servi de façon pour implémenter plusieurs modes de coordination. M. Alexander a expliqué que le n'a pas coïn, pas qu'à détruire les vermines qui a été causée de Black Sea. Ce qui a fait, c'est pour empêcher les vermines de se manger en ces feuilles, ces figues-là, et quand les restes d'exploitation. Alexander fait comprendre que ces vermines Black Sea ne sont pas actives durant le temps, mais c'est le temps la pluie qui a fait venir, qui a fait dommage, comme ils ont brisé de l'eau pour rester vivants. Alors, c'est ont la pluie qui a engendré la capacité de vermines pour dommager. Il y a un autre problème, c'est officiel annoncé que c'est Millibug qui a détruit les figues et les fruits, ces figues. C'est fixé là, et jusqu'à tuer ces plans. Pour raison ça là, c'est officier à l'école là, tu as organisé une clinique à sous diverses exploitations pour, pour instruire les femmes en meilleure façon pour contrôler ce type de salaire. Le gouvernement a continué pour assister les femmes pour éprouver à sous protection et avec meilleure façon pour ménager l'opération de l'exploitation figue à cette ci Projet pour partir à la fac choisie, c'est un qui pas seulement qui a facilité l'employement pour un bon de trois résidents qui partent à travail, mais aussi que ça a augmenté le développement économique en par ça là. Ça c'est l'opinion du ministre des Affaires et du Développement économique à cette ci ça c'est Honorable Guy Joseph. M. Joseph était présent durant la cérémonie pour marcher le commencement du travail pour projeter ça là à la FAG mercredi passé. Selon le ministre du Développement économique là, ça c'est en direction qui gouvernement a posé attention à ça, principalement en façade sous cette ci en effort pour suivre l'opération machine de développement. Mais plus important, j'ai choisi de trouver l'occasion pour nous m'en sauter, que ça y est même. Parce que vous avez un chôte qui est au même, vous avez un chôte qui est au même, et aussi vous avez un des économies pour aller d'où va. Dernièrement, quelle quantité facile qu'il y a pour je choisir et l'autre côté qu'il y a un développement comme ça, pour acheter ça, est-ce qu'il y a un côté n'importe cette liste qui a pris un bénéfice. Oui, il n'est pas sous Pouya, ce n'est pas tout le monde qui a joué Pouya, mais il y a un bénéfice là, nous n'y sommes presque sous le pays. On y sait Credit Union, on y Chosel Credit Union, on y Credit Union Labo, oui. Aussi, on y sait différents banques qui ont pris le monde l'argent. Et il y a un bénéfice là, nous qui encourage. Banque qui a pris le monde l'argent bien vite pour gagner un motocar, l'auto avec différents bains comme ça. Nous voulons plus de monde investir l'argent en disant « tête ». Parce que « tête » n'est plus de bénéfices. La um, valeur qui a augmenté tous les années, en moto qui a valé à descendre tous les années, mais là où mettre l'argent à la tête, la valeur qui a augmenté. So, nous avons encouragé ces banques-là et ces différents monde pour ça travailler avec ces monde dans Saint-Lucie qui est venu garder pour un loan pour acheter ce chôte. Le représentatif pour ce qui est avec François Jacques, on a vu Harold Stanislas. Pardon, il a complimenté le représentatif pour choisir pour établir le projet CAI en la FAG, du moins sur le monde qui est en cours, mais il a passé. Il a annoncé un plan qui est en place pour continuer divers projets en ce qui est. Selon on a vu Stanislas, le travail qui a continué pour le ministère de l'Homme, a grand épouvement, j'ai fait. Côté nous avons mis ces lights là hier après-midi, ils ont mis ces lights là. Ils ont travaillé à ce maçon qui est allé au lion fil là, spécialement maçon qui est side la vie. Parce qu'on ne peut pas nous en saison là, hurricane, pour la vie ça là descend et puis pour l'eau à tuer. En l'est, il fil là pour croiser toute l'agence là, nous avons dépassé là. L'année, l'autre phase de travail qui est pour faire, ce qu'on sent, la première phase là fini, nous allons aller en deuxième phase là et continuer en troisième phase là. Nous nous travaillons chez nous pour le développement. Ça, c'est chez nous qui va côté gouvernement pour regarder chez nous. Ça, c'est 40 ans depuis le fait. Et puis, c'est la première fois que 40 ans 
dit le chemin, ça là, qui a, qu a vieux croisé et puis vieux fait tout le chemin en nous développement. So, ça, c'est un bon projet. Jean nous développe, Jean Souffrier, yeah, content projet ça là. Et puis moi aussi content parce que ça c'est un promet de faire, de camper de moi pour vivre faire ce chemin ça là, nous développe. Alors, le chemin qui est venu tout de suite, peut-être le mois prochain pour octobre, c'est le chemin l'espérance pour aller diamant. Ça c'est un chemin qui est très important pour Jean-François Jacques, Jean Souffrier et Jean l'espérance. J'espère que le chemin ça là, pour ça là, pour en route pour l'année. Et puis le projet ça là, qui est venu tout de suite. Nous sommes en chemin pour faire Zénon, nous sommes en chemin pour faire Belfond, nous sommes en chemin pour faire Zénon. Et puis là, nous sommes en petit projet pour faire en Palmis, en Faubénier, en Fond Jean Libre, en Chaton Belle, et puis comme l'autre côté en Constituency. Merci, madame, ça c'est le côté de nous, en votre nouvelle là. Je vous remercie autant pour garder, je vous remercie pour l'invitation. Pour que vous puissiez considérer que vous avez la vie, vous avez posé toute l'autre nouvelle en Coyol. Je vous souhaite tout le monde un bon finissement de semaine à la paix, et que ça c'est le. Mon vie pour ça tout, Chanel. Merci à Pearl Primus. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville.